Dedek TV KPM Hello friends, we're back here on Slot Menengah Renda Didik TV KPM with me Kak Shafika and also Teacher M. Also, not to forget to mention our sign language interpreter Cik Gunor Farzila Abdul Rahim. All right, Teacher M. Now that we've gone through a lot of things, um, there's also the matter of uh, making a home more friendlier to live in, yeah. more homey. I can yes, say. Yes. Yes. Uh, how how is that? Um, how does um, that work? How can we go towards that okay mm -hmm. i think in order to have a home how to make your home more eco-friendly right you have to be you have to lead a life uh, a sustainable lifestyle mm. from home okay because now you see that we are exposed to a lot of viruses and mm. diseases so we are always advised we are always encouraged to stay at home most of the time oh. in order to protect ourselves Right. from the virus and the danger outside. So home is always the best place. Mm -hmm. Right. So for today, we're going to have a look at a few pictures which I'm going to share with you today to know about what are the ways that you can do in order to become more eco-friendly from home. Okay. All right. So we have a look at the first picture here. We can see there. Okay, we can see the light bulbs. We can see the switch. Mm -hmm. What should you do? in order hmm. to make yourself more eco-friendly based on the picture shown. Should we yeah. ask our pupils? Yeah, we can ask our pupils who like to answer that. It always Adib. Okay, always well Adib. done Adib. Okay, okay Adib, what, what do you think? Mm -hmm. mm, we can switch off the light devices after using them. We can switch off the lights, okay, after using them. Yeah, of course. Do you switch off the light after using them? Yes, definitely. Yeah. We have to save electricity. Yes, we have to save electricity. Mm -hmm. Not just, I think it's not just uh, the lights and as well as other other things. Yes. Such as like uh, electronic devices. Mm -hmm. And water, yeah. teacher. And water, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. And we move on to the next picture here. You can see there. What type of light is that? What do you think the type of light that you can see in the picture? Mm. Can someone share with me? Yes, what someone do you think? perhaps beside Adip. Mm. Yes, like sorry. Okay. What type of light is that? It's an LED light. LED lights? Yeah. Okay, you know about LED lights. Okay, that's great. Okay, what should you do? You have to switch to LED light bulbs which are more energy efficient mm. in order to save the electricity bills. So LED light is the short form from light emitting diodes. You can see that in the picture. Okay, are you using the LED lights from home? Who's using the LED lights from home? Can you please put up your hands? I do. Yeah, you do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who else? The price could be more expensive. And but yet it's, it's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's, it's, it is energy efficient. Actually, teacher, I realised for this part, a lot of pupils, not just pupils, a lot of people watching now can take this tip at home yeah. to save uh, electricity at home, right, mm -hmm. teacher? And make yeah. it more eco-friendly. Yes. Okay. Yes. What's mm -hmm. the next step, teacher? Okay, the next one. For the next one, you can see, okay, what can you do in order to have a sustainable lifestyle from home? Someone would like to share with me based on the picture which I've shown on the slide. Yes, Wahida. We can recycle our item. Okay, we can recycle items. What are the items that we can recycle? What are the items? Okay, we can recycle the plastic bottles. We can recycle papers. What mm -hmm. else? What else? Anyone would like to share? Besides Ooh. plastic books. What else? Okay, we will see. Yeah, we can recycle items at home. We can bring to the recycle center. Yes, definitely. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, these are the examples of the items. The plastic bottles, the old clothing, old electronics, books and boxes. Right. Those are the items that you can recycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Move on to the next one. You can see here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ah. What is that? <gasps> Hmm. What is that? What do you think is that? What is that, pupils? Yeah. What do you do based on the picture to make your home more eco-friendly? What do you think? Okay, who would like to answer? Yeah? Because we like to share with the audience at home. Dania, yeah? teacher. Yes, Dania. 
I think we can harvest the rainwater. You can harvest the rainwater, okay? Mm. Yeah, it's a rainwater harvesting or we call it RWH. It is the collection and a storage of rain rather than allowing it to run off just like that. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So the rainwater is collected from a roof like surface and redirected to a tank. Mm -hmm. And this water can be reused. What can we do with this? Rainwater harvesting. What can we do with the rainwater that you save? Can someone share with me? We can, we can wash the car and water the plants. Yeah, oh. we can wash the car and water the plants. Yes, good tip. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a good tip. A lot of things that we can do with the rainwater. Right. Yeah. Do you like praying in the rain? Um, I <laughs> used to when I was smaller. Yeah. But teacher, this step is so simple. You just need to put a place a few buckets yeah. outside. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It's such a simple move to be yes. more eco-friendly. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so simple. It's so easy, right? Right. Yeah, just save the water inside a tank mm -hmm. or a pail and you can use it at any time you want. Okay, yeah, right. So you can lead an eco-friendly lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And the next one, you can look at the faucets. What's wrong with the faucet? What can we do? Okay, based on the picture, what do we do in order to make ourselves more eco-friendly from home? Okay, who Someone would like, like to, to share? Answer? Maybe we can call Wahida? <clears throat> yeah, what do you think? Save water with low flow. Yes, save water with low flow. We do not want to, the water to just go to waste just like that. Right. Okay, what do we do? You use low flow faucets or place a bucket. And for example, like when you're washing your teeth, mm -hmm. okay, you just off the tap, tap. just like that, okay? Right. You can just off the tap. Yes. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. you brush your teeth. After finish brushing your teeth, you can on the tap once again. To rinse it. Yes, to rinse. Ah, okay. okay. And another way is that when you're washing your dishes. This is the same thing. Mm -hmm. You use the low flow. Right. Yeah. That's a very. Those are very yeah, good yeah, tips yeah. for everyone to take home. All right, mm. uh, Teacher mm. M. Now mm. that we've reached uh, towards the end of this segment, can you perhaps share a bit of a summary for our lesson today? All right. For today's lesson, we have learned on a few elements related to a place to call home. A few elements, some sort like home improvement. And for the first section, we have learned on a few materials that we use in order to build a house. And at the same time, we also learn about different types of occupations for home improvement. And on the third section, we have learned about different types of houses like cottage, semi-detached, detached house, a bungalow house, terrace, and a flats. And finally, we learn about how to make our house an eco-friendly home. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, there you have it. A whole wrap-up of our yeah. lesson for today. Yeah, All right, it's teacher. on vocabulary, focus, focusing mm -hmm. on a place to call home. Yes, and I'm yeah. sure the pupils online and also at home have learned uh, a lot from today, have taken a lot from today. All right, teacher, and perhaps a, a conclusion on the pupils online's performance for today. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, pu the pupils are very active for today. Okay. Okay, they were doing well throughout the session. I'm very happy with them. And we shall award them with a big of applause. Wow. Yes. Good job, yeah. everyone. And give yourself double thumbs up. Oh, yeah. okay. And five stars for everyone wow. one more time. That's triple uh, reward for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Teacher M, now um, perhaps for those at home, they've missed out a few lessons from today. Where can they, can they go to uh, do more of activities from today's class? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, they can. Uh, there are lots of activities that they can refer uh, from the close-up textbook. Okay. Okay. On uh, on unit five. All right. On a place to call home from yes. starting from page fifty-six to sixty-eight, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, and just yeah. now you might have told and me. And you can refer to Sumberku mm -hmm. by the uh, Lima KPM. Didi TV KPM.